All right, guys, super excited to be here with Michael from iCamper. We're here at SEMA 2022. Got a lot of cool products up on display. I'm gonna ask Michael some questions. We're gonna walk through here and see, uh, see what they've got going. So thanks for having us, Michael. Let's, uh, let's get going with some of the newer stuff here. We've got the Exo Shell, the new 270 awning. Yep. Tell me a few quick highlights about this awesome yeah, product, Mike. This is our ExoShell 270, as stated. This is our brand new awning with massive amount of square footage coverage. You get not only the side over the driver door, as well as all the way through the back. And what this thing does is all the way folded up. You're looking at about 66 pounds, eight and a half feet in length, and giving you the option to use the awning with the legs retracted up or down, and the ability to guy rope them down if the windy conditions do happen. So that's super slick, right? So it is it is a freestanding, but it has the built-in legs yep. adjustable, right? Completely. So that if it gets a little windy, yep. you feel pretty good. Looks like we got some good tie-down points, we right? We do, we do. When I think of the ExoShell, I mean, obviously the name has it, but it's got a totally different yeah. cover, right? Yeah. So as opposed to the soft shell cover that goes around the awning, exactly. it's, a, it's a hard cover, right? It is, and we tested it here recently on a work trip where yeah. with that aluminum cover, if you have a lot of brush hitting in uh, on the sides of the truck or anything like that, you're not going to get the damage that you would with a traditional soft shell. Interesting. So this cool. will take all that abrasion with ease. Yeah, yeah. so super excited yeah. about that. And then obviously, everybody's been waiting, the Blue Dot Voyager yeah. BDT, right? So we've got the, they come in two sizes, right, Michael? It does. So right? We've got this one, which is the Duo, right? This is our Duo. So two person here, as you see it, on the bed of a Tacoma, five foot, so you can kind of see what relative, look, what that looks like. And what's beautiful about about this it comes in two sizes you got the do of the two and you got the single of the one and as you can see on that Tacoma same kind of footprint you can use that extra space to throw a bike up or a kayak on the side or even throw the awning up there too so maximum versatility on how you want to use it and that's just the start you can actually still mount solar panels axes traction boards whatever you want along the perimeter as well as the top yeah so totally different style than what we've seen before from iCamper right traditionally all the iCamper tents that we've been selling for years have a fold out extension panel, right? So iCamper, this is their version of more of a traditional clamshell tent, which is really slick. Very different than anything else that we've seen, right? It's not a copycat or anything, you know, that looks like, like what we've seen on the market. Um, I like some of the extrusion that comes along the sides. I, I think it's really slick. Um, as they have here, you can you can add accessories, surfboards, bikes on top, which is um, which is great. So a new offering from my camper that's pretty exciting and a little bit different than their traditional um, extension panel style tent. Yep. So and what's nice, depending on whatever setup you want, you can put the ladder on any of the sides. So you don't have to always do it off the passenger like iCamper tents are known for, of yep. passenger deployment. You can do the passenger through the back or even on the driver's side door. And depending on how or what arrangement you have, you can enter in any way. And it's really great. And as with most wedge style tents, setups is just a matter of seconds, as is teardown, which is yeah. perfect if you're needing to get on the go. Talk to me real quick about the, the ability to leave bedding. Is that, uh, is it, how does that work in the You, in the, you can, the I will say you can, you have to be a little bit more mindful of it. Okay. Because it's a wedge, it's a lot slimmer. Your your real estate of what you can leave in there is a little different from our other tents. Okay. So I would also break that down into what you have and what it's made out of. Down will always be your best friend camping. Right. It's used in backpacking for a reason because it highly is compressible. Yep. Thankfully, we make RTT sleepers that have down. There Imagine you go. Imagine that guys. So you can actually leave all that in there, awesome. fold it up and be ready to rock and roll with a stock mattress. We do have RTT comforts of an air mattress replacement available for them as well. Uh, so if you want a little bit more comfort or the ability to leave even more bedding in there, those RTT So those are the inflatable, the deflatable yep. style, yep. right? Exactly. And so that'll a, give you even more comfort. Exactly. And then when they're deflated, you've got even more gear inside. Exactly. Got so it. Best awesome. of both worlds, depending yep. on what you want to do. And then as far as the crossbars that go on top, Top, the option, optional crossbars, they are optional, right? They actually come ready to go out standard. of the gate. Yep, okay. Standard, standard. Okay, so that's part of the tent. That is part of it. As yep. you buy it. As you buy cool. it. Cool. Yep. Right on. It's just a matter of what accessories for 
your right. add-ons that you want to put on there, which again, as you can see, we have a whole mountain bike lifted on there without any problem. And you have that gas strut rating of roughly about 100 pounds, depending on what you put on there. Right. Obviously, Where you the heavier the to, weight yeah, yeah, towards wanna, the front towards versus the, the front. back. Right. But for most folks, I think traction boards and some solar are going to be uh, nine times out of ten your, your main things on the, on the top. There is flat surface, yep. so great candidate for, you already mentioned it, but the solar panels, right? Yep. Exactly. And refresh my memory, there are routing cable routes from the top down, or? There will be, depending on how you want to utilize it. So we have the, the solar panel wire routing where you can use the, the extrusions on the side. Okay. Uh, most of that routing is going to be actually in our Sky Camp series okay. with the, with the, okay. uh, uh, the holes Perfect. there in the panel yep. so you can allow wiring for all kinds of things in and out of the tent. Here's the EXO awning shell, EXO shell awning closed up, right? So this is what, what we were talking about. A little different than, than most other awnings when they're closed up this is a hard shell right it is so um, mounts up real well with the lightener system obviously yes. you have it on your truck and the running for taco guys yep. have it as yep. well which is great um so yeah let's let's walk into let's here real in. quick we've got obviously yeah, the 3.0 tents that have been out uh, since the beginning of the year awesome tents i think the, on the tundra here it's displayed with the rain fly back most people don't see it that way which is kind of neat gives you a little bit of different perspective michael if i'm not mistaken with that setup that way you can stand up through you sure can yeah and you take sure photos can. for all yeah, the photographers exactly. out there now you've got that 360 um i'm not a photo guy but you are yeah. um, <laughs> you can look around so i think that's yeah. a pretty neat feature obviously stargazing and stuff like that is one of the one of the great things with the sky camp we got the mini 3.0 as well the comfort mats are now out for those as well too yes, right yes, right exactly. so the inflatables just yeah. like what we were talking about and that is a big thing i definitely highlight that because when you swap those out from the stock mattresses everybody's everybody's feedback is if you want maximum comfort or if you want to leave even more yeah, bedding in no care. matter what model tent yeah. you can do that with ease when you do that rtt comfort replacement of the complete stock mattress swap out so awesome. it is nice that's it is great nice. yeah yeah and then this is the, is that the new annex plus on an x cover that is. is that right yeah so. so that'll be respective for all the tent models Perfect. of the sky camp series in the x cover series uh whether it's the two person or the four person but it is set up on the four person size on the trailer there yep great amount of room whether you want to hide away from the sun the rain or the bugs as we all have in our summertime camping <laughs> yep. you can do all that and you can even put an inner tent if you have a small family member you want to sleep down below or your four four-legged family members as well and is that inner tent all all size including completely self-contained yeah. yep. so that one's huge yep. Yep. if you're thinking about bugs things yep. like that right we get that comment a lot hey yes. it's not fully enclosed which with any of the annexes is a little yeah. tough to do because you got a floor all the yeah. heights yeah. of the cars are different for sure so it's not always easy to get that enclosed and I think I can does a good yeah. job with their system but that inner room so to speak then it is yep. fully fully concealed yep. or cut off if you will from, <laughs> from the yeah. bugs right you're, you're free from them I you're promise. free from them I promise. So, <laughs> that's cool the new annex plus ha it, uh, ha has some really nice new features to it um, so that's exciting so yes. and then we've got the disco series set up in a various different configurations um, which is great and uh, we're excited to have those as well and yeah. looks like there's some other new fun products from we, my camper we've got on. all kinds of goodies yeah. here. even below where it's hanging from the pulley chain here this is going to be a, oh yeah the a new pit. accessory here a fire pit from my camper that we're working on so when you want to have your traditional wood burning fires you can pop up this uh, portable pit oh, hook over great. it use it for warmth and have that configured ready to go and it folds up in a nice little tote bag to carry with you but um, yeah the disco series these these are great, ultra versatile, depending on how you want to cook, um, from the classic stance yep. to over the fire, and it's adjustable at any height. So, best part, there's works no hard for, stops. Works for both of us. Exactly, varying heights, yeah, mine and his. <laughs> awesome, so Michael. Really appreciate yeah, you spending yeah. some time, man. Absolutely, thank you. Excited thank to be you here. So much. Thanks yeah, for having thanks, us. Guys. Cheers.